Time now is 7.45. Uh, sports are always evolving and changing, aren't they? And there'll be people this morning uh, who don't know about pickleball, uh, which is, uh, you know, a ver I suppose it's a version of tennis. Would that be fair to say? Ping I think it's a version think of it's, tennis. Isn't it a cross between ping pong and tennis? OK, well, Mike Maybe. can explain all. He's at the English Nationals Pickleball Tournament for us this morning. Come on then, Mike. Where, where do we put pickleball? Well, I'll tell you what, how it started will help explain. Yeah, good morning. What happened back in 1965, two guys in America come on off a golf course. The family are bored. They want to play badminton in the garden. They can't find the shuttlecock. So they improvise. They lower the net and they play bat and ball like you used to. We were all down in the garden or on the beach just with a bat and an improvised tennis ball. And so they came up with pickleball. Apparently, according to folklore, it was named after their dog Pickles. And it is a cross between table tennis, tennis, but played on a badminton side. Core. It's very accessible. Over 5 million play in the US, over 35,000 now across the UK. Let's talk to one of the young coaches, Sam, here. Why is it taking off so quickly with 1,100 alone at this tournament this weekend here in Bolton? I think it's just you've got such accessibility with pickleball. You can have players of all ages all playing on the same core, and it doesn't matter about your ability to get going. And is it especially good for those people who are coming back from tennis after injury because you don't have to move around so much? It can be, absolutely. And I think the key thing is it can, it can be for anybody. And that's what we love about pickleball is you can have, you'll see players of up to 10, up to 84, you know, such a wide variety of skills and ages. Talking of which, I am seeing a lot of different age ranges here. Over here, we've got two of the young players. Uh, this is Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Oh, let's just see you play this shot. I will have to try and interrupt the rally. Oh, uh, there we are. That's a perfect chance to speak to Thomas. Why do you play pickleball? Why not other sports? What do you love about this? Uh, it's just that all the people that you make friends with and all the people that you get to meet are like um, Elaine and Karen and Lou and Sam and all the other people that you have here. Brilliant. So I can see there's lots of different abilities on the same court. Hi there, this is Jack. So why did you take it up? What do you love about it? Um, I love the people. They're always so friendly and nice to me, everyone. <laughs> yeah. And it's just fun. It is fun. I'm getting that sense. Well, I'll let you continue your rally. Let's speak to Karen from Pickleball England. Just sum up the growth of this. So this tournament only started three years ago. So how quickly is it growing and why? It's growing exponentially. It really is. We've got about 35,000, 40,000 players in the country now from about 1,000 in 2019, the beginning of. And I think it's just because of the accessibility of the game. We've got everyone from different ages and abilities. And you, got, you, you play in the same ability, so it's a fair competition and it's the camaraderie as well everyone paddle taps at the end of the game you know it's just really nice what about those people worried though that this is taking people away from tennis traditional tennis and also competing with another form of tennis if you like paddle tennis what's different what what marks this out would you say I think there's room for everyone, right? And uh, we've got people here who play all three games this weekend, and they like different things about different games. What marks this one out, though, is accessibility. You can start and have some early success. You don't have to um, be able to serve, you know, overarm and things like that. So it's a good um, way of getting mobile, and then you actually mastering the game yeah. takes time to get to to be at the top. There's a growth path, right? Yeah. And also I can see that in this, you need very little equipment. You can actually play this in a car park. Bit of Perfect. bit of takedown, a net, a, a couple of bats and balls, and paddles and balls, as they're called, not bats. Let's speak to a champion. Oh, this is Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Oh, well done on your medal. A winner, a winner, a winner, chicken dinner. What, what got you into this and what, what made what, oh, so successful? Well, it's just great fun. I just went along with some pals and just, just fell in love with the game. Yeah. Started here a year ago. And uh, yeah, it's been. And it's you can been, see all abilities play on the same. All court. abilities, it's all inclusive. Yeah. It's just great fun. You know, yeah. it's a game for everyone. Fantastic. A final yeah. person we're going to talk to is Elaine here, Shalcross, because Elaine, you've got a, a British Empire medal am, for yeah. services to the game. Absolutely. Amazing. What makes it so special for you? Well, to be honest, I, I got into the game right at the beginning when not many people played, saw the merits of it, and it gave me. Yeah. Great opportunity to go out, spread the word all around the world, especially here in the northwest. Yeah. And it's a great social game because you can get so many people involved oh, yeah. in it. Big smiles, small court, every bit of banter, okay. everybody's having a good time. Thanks, Elaine. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to join in because I've been watching this all morning, and I do think it is accessible. So even I probably can actually get the ball back over the net. There we go.
Oh, I lay. That was a bit of spin on that. That was a bit of spin on. No, 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 no. What? I think you're going to need this. Oh, come on. What are you trying to come say? On. You're just not good enough. Oh, no. It's much easier with a small bat. I, I think they're trying to tell me something about my size. There we are. Throw the ball in. You don't normally play with bats this size. Go on, then. It's actually much harder. Oh, I'm going back to my normal bat. There we are. Very think, cheeky, very I think cheeky. They were just trying to help <laughs> you out, much better. Mike. They were just trying to help you out. They want to see you succeed. I don't. I don't need it. Just watch this skill seeky skills look. The Rafa Nadal of pickleball. Come on. Okay, we'll Was leave, Mike, we'll leave Mike we to his world. I'm retiring now. <laughs> <laughs> Mike in his world of brilliance. Time now is 8.43. Let's go to Matt and find out what's... Oh, no, let's go to sport. We're going to Bolton now. That's where Mike is, if you're wondering why he's not with us here. Mike is talking all things pickleball. Aren't you, Mike? I am indeed. You could say I've never been so pickled. I'm mesmerised. It's like the Wimbledon of pickleball here in Bolton at the English Championships. Only the third year they've been running, but... Already the number's competing up to 1,100. And if we come over to this side, good morning, good luck, by everybody. <laughs> we can see that, yeah, the centre court of pickleball. And when you see the top players playing it, now, there are some professional players as well now, you see the speed of their reactions, the skill, it's very fast. You don't have to move around so much as in tennis, but some of the volleying is mesmerising and so good for mental agility and also reaction time. So it's really taken off big time in the US where it started and now the UK and around the world. As well as this going on this weekend, and this is going on all weekends, so you can come and have a look yourself. It's the FA Cup first round. We have two non-league clubs in action tonight. Alfreton, they're away from home at Tamworth, host League One Huddersfield. That is live on BBC Two. But tomorrow we'll see the lowest ranked team left in the competition in action. It's Hensford Town taking on Gainsborough Trinity. Now Hensford play way down the eighth tier of English football and their story, well, it's a former mining town, but they have struck FA Cup goal. <laughs> there he is, Pittman Paul. Look out for him on match of the day. There'll be highlights of all the FA Cup games over the weekend. Back here, if you do want to take up pickleball, or at least give it a go. It's very easy to get started in. There are nearly 400 clubs up and down the UK. It's also played now in a lot of schools because you can see you don't need much equipment. They can put down the tape in a school hall, set up a net, and away they go with a couple of paddle bats and balls. But when you see it played by the top players, you realise how good and how long it can take to get to the top level and play. Oh, they'll actually stop, typical timing. <laughs> they were having an amazing rally a minute ago, but you see what it can take to actually master this game, much more difficult. Those guys who started it in America in 1965 have certainly created something worldwide now, something special, all named apparently after their dog, Pickles. That makes sense, that makes sense. Thank you very much, Mike. A lot of enthusiasm in the room there. Good to see. He loves it. Yeah. He absolutely loves it.